y'all come on in it's friday and guess what it's fish day back to the salmon again it's time for some good old salmon some good pan fried salmon y'all know how i love it hope y'all having a god bless friday it's beautiful here today in north carolina the sun is shining bright it's about 63 degrees and the wind is just blowing it feels uh, what i call blustery um just a beautiful wonderful day the birds are out twerping and singing. I want to get my plants going, but you know how that <clears throat> how it is about social distancing. I went out to get bread today, and they were allowing five people in the bakery. So I did get my bread going today. I was thankful that those uh, young men and women were in there keeping it stocked up and still working. I'm telling you, it's the time, y'all. It's the time. I trust that you all will continue to pray without ceasing, encouraging people, calling folk up, doing little errands for them or whatever you can do. My sinuses have got me going this week for whatever reason, but that's all right too. I'm just going to, so if I sound a little nasal, that's why. Um, <clears throat> had a little bit of an issue too. Had my nose just going. So anywho, y'all, I'm in the kitchen. I'm getting ready to uh, get me some dinner going. Over here in that pan right there, Brussels sprouts. I have not prepared Brussels sprouts in, whew, I don't know how long. I've already gone ahead and put them on, and I'm just going to heat them back up. So they were uh, frozen Brussels sprouts, one pound bag of frozen Brussels sprouts, a teaspoon of honey, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and a, teaspoon of, a tablespoon of butter. And what I did was I put the butter in the pan, let it melt, put the Brussels sprouts in, sprinkled the uh, garlic powder over them, drizzled the honey over them, put the lid on, didn't put any water, medium, low heat, and just let them sort of begin to cook like that. And they just sort of uh, fry right in the bottom of the plant pan with the uh, with that little bit of, um, well, I use Smart Start butter, whatever you use, uh, olive oil. I did, uh, I drizzled another teaspoon, uh, teaspoon of uh, heart smart start and a teaspoon of olive oil I, always, I love the flavor of olive oil so all the olive oil and the uh, smart start in the bottom of the pan put the one pound package of uh, brussels sprouts in sprinkle that teaspoon of garlic powder or garlic salt a teaspoon of tony Chartres seasoning and then i oh, and then you got to drizzle with that tablespoon of uh I probably said a teaspoon, but a tablespoon of lemon juice and a teaspoon of honey. That makes a nice little topping for those Brussels sprouts. It brings out that flavor like you wouldn't believe. And I cooked some uh, turkey bacon this morning. I just broke up a piece of turkey bacon, bacon and threw it in there while they were cooking. Then I threw me in uh, some, and the grease is almost hot. Because I wanted to go ahead and this is like my do ahead. And then over here, this is just some... Um, like french fries, I call them my lattice potatoes. I went ahead and uh, put them in the oven, 400 degrees for about 30 minutes and I drizzled them with olive oil, sprinkled them with some Tony Chaucheries because they're pretty much already salted, I believe. Kareem loves these, so. Or you can put extra salt, whatever, but basically just put them in the oven with some um, olive oil, sprinkle them real good with some garlic powder. 30 minutes, they're ready. Now. The thing that I didn't go ahead and do was my uh, salmon. I've got uh, a slice for me. I get, okay, I've had this salmon marinating and some. Uh, whew, I should have got a bigger pan, but that's okay. It's too late now. I went ahead and marinated it in some lemon juice, some garlic powder or garlic salt, whichever one you use, and I still got my Tony chocolate to put on there. Of course, the bigger pieces for Kareem, and I'll eat the smaller piece. And really, you don't need a lot on there, because your know, salmon has its own flavor, so let it cook on the skin side for about five minutes and let it crisp up, and then you flip it over on the flesh side for a couple of minutes, and it's done, and you got a dinner inside of 30 minutes. I mean, a real dinner. I went to the bakery today, I got fresh bread, so I may, um, I'll see if Kareem wants some toast or something to go with it. 
But I've, and then I've got some salad still left over, left over. But this in itself is a good complete meal that you can do inside, like I said, inside of 30 minutes. Um, it doesn't even take that long at all to do because like the uh, Brussels sprouts I cooked about 12 minutes because you don't want them to get mushy even though they were frozen. So 12 minutes on those Brussels sprouts and I cooked those potatoes probably 20, if you like them soft and I should have left them because Kareem liked them soft. Crunchy around the edges, 30 minutes. Uh, the fish, cook that all together about seven or eight minutes and you got yourself a delicious meal going on. Let me tell y'all. So I don't know what y'all got planned for tomorrow. Um, I don't have a lot planned. Can't make a whole lot of plans these days, can we? I'm going to sprinkle this with, uh, and this is like a lemon pepper because like I said, I got the lemon juice soaked into there, marinated into there. Got the olive oil in the can. I'm just going to let it cook there for a few more minutes and then I'm going to flip it and before we know it, it's going to be ready. I'm going to leave this on the stove to eat, not ready to eat right now. This is kind of early, it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but I've got one errand to do, so um, I just wanted to get it in and like I said, my sciences are just giving me a complete fit, y'all. Um, we've got a different kind of pollen going on. Make sure I don't want to cook it too long. Um, I'm hoping I'm gonna put a little bit more of that lemon juice over the fish after I before I flip it, and then once I flip it, I'm gonna put some more on there. Get a nice lemon flavor to it. Um, somebody was talking about. Um, you know, where everybody's talking about different stuff to do while you're in. And you know, you know you gotta eat every day. So I mean, you could just come on my channel, you know, lead people to my channel to uh, get some of these little quick meals. And this is a real, if you like Brussels sprouts, you like fish, you like potatoes, hey, pass it on. Have them come on onto my channel. I think I'm gonna do a review of, um, I did a lot of uh, videos on how to barbecue, how, even how to clean the meat up, how to season it. I might just run through and do a video on that. Uh, for people who want to know how to barbecue, you got lots of time on your hands. The weather is just right for it. Um, and these summer cookouts are coming up. So if you're interested, I'll be glad to teach you. Again, I hope y'all are having a God bless uh day today and that the the prayer is at the beginning of whatever you do today the encouragement is there as well to those who are discouraged and again like we talked about the other day a lot of people are, are having a, a bit of a difficult time but i think we're we're beginning to come out on the other side of it now and i think uh, we're gonna all be the better for it. we're gonna come out of this thing i'm here to tell you we're going to have be so knowledgeable and know so many things until it's going to be unreal. I think we're going to kind of surprise ourselves when we come through the other side of this. Because there's something to be said about having time to focus on things that we don't normally do. And then when we get those things going, we can sort of sit back and reflect on them. We can enjoy them. We can come up with more creative things to do. I think we're ready to turn this small one anyway. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and squirt it. Woo! There we go. We don't want, want it to uh, tear up on it. Okay. There it is, medium high heat, y'all. And when it finishes cooking, I'm just going to sort of leave it in the pan there. Uh, that's nice olive oil that it's cooking in. That's going to be real good. And some of that's the juice. I'm going to turn that pan up so that juice will sort of dry up in there. Um, remember, I put that extra. I put some extra lemon juice. Put a little bit more on the skin side. Not a lot. But 
after I do it like this, just a little bit of spoon from this right out of the pan. We don't want to get too much because I don't want this trying to steam. I want it fried all the way. Okay. I might hit Kareem's piece with a little bit of just a little bit of garlic salt. That's all that is. Whew, let's do it with that lemon juice, y'all. Fish and lemon just go together. Y'all do know that, right? You know, even when you eat the uh, breaded fried fish, you do the uh, with that malt vinegar, even. Get a little uh, twang there. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Okay, so we're just going to let that continue to cook for another couple of minutes. And I might even flip it over since I put that juice in there because I want that uh, the skin to firm up really, really good so it'll uh, be nice and crunchy. So basically, this meal is done, y'all. Um, I'm going to let it, um, I'm going to, like I say, wrap it up here on the stove. And uh, dinner for Friday is done. I got some good old bluebell ice cream in the fridge. I might have to venture out over there and have me a little bit. Since we eat such a light dinner, this is considered a light, light dinner. It'll be a hard healthy dinner as well. The Brussels sprouts and the fish. And you can, you know, make, make your mind if you want that uh, the potatoes to be your carb. Or you can have a nice piece of toast with it. And I think it'll be something good to consider for um, a light dinner. And I've got some salad greens, of course, in the refrigerator. We'll have that. At least I'll have it. Green rally is the salad. So this dinner is almost ready. Hope you're having a God bless uh, Friday, like I said before. Hope you continue to pray without ceasing. Thank you, as always, for standing in the gap and for praying with and for me and encouraging me and others. I hope you will continue uh, to reconcile any differences that you may have going on in your life. Now's a good time. We've got lots of time on our hands to get those things done. Uh, I'm still working on the closet, y'all. Honey, whew, when I get in there, you'll say, oh, okay, I understand why it took a long time to work up her nerve to get in that closet, but... We're stick, still working towards the closet. I'm going to get there eventually. So, love you guys so, 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 so much. Uh, I'm getting ready to flip this uh, fish one more time. There it goes, yeah. I'm going to flip it. The pretty side is up. And we're just going to flip it there for a minute or two and let it... Uh, There, all that juice is about gone, and now that the rest of that uh, skin on the back of that is crisp. And we're gonna eat the whole piece. You know, sometimes if you don't cook that skin right now, you know, you have to take it off. But I know how to cook it, y'all know me, I don't want to waste anything. So, guys, keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. And for all practical purposes, this meal is ready. Uh, you can serve it, like I say, with some, uh, some nice toast. Add a salad to it. Other than that, you don't have to put anything with it. You can eat it just like it is. So, until I decide to cook again, keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning in to Blue.